they actually put out here for the draft teams. Yep, and it's also all about the Freya for me, right? This is a Freya mm. going into the gold lane, and this tells me that IHC Esports, they want to go into a Rest box. Look as if they have the better sturdy composition. Yep, so let's go. This is the potential game ender for the side of Falcons AP Bren here. They want to close this series off with a clean 2-0 sweep. But IHC looking to change their story. Let's see if that's going to be the case though. So far right now, we do see both sides going in for their own buff. So nothing much to worry. We've got two players right in the mid. It's going to be one player right there. Four bit all alone. Try to fend for himself. Doesn't need to worry much. I think pretty much this is going to be a slow fight. But we do see here Aizen and Eaton try to actually push through to the side of Lab TZ. Is it going to be in their favor? They do do some damage though. But it's not going to be enough. They just try to tease a little bit, poke a little bit, and just get as much of the fight to their side. Yeah, for now, I think at least in the early game, it, it makes a little bit more sense for me on the side of Falcons AP Grand, right? Their draft mm -hmm. looks a little stronger at this point. You know, Ethan trying to help out against Lab TZ. I'm not sure whether this is the best decision. Kaltizi gonna come in. Can they get the kill? Lab TZ does have this passive, so he will be able to deal a little bit more damage. Bebex here is the one that I'm really concerned about. Potential first blood, here we go. Blow for blow, he will be taken down. Bebex gives away the first blood to Falcons. AP Brand. Eisen gonna trade out. Wow, against Kalkizi? One to one. Oh. This is, uh, in my opinion, I hate CE Sports win. Okay, looking good. I mean, yes, Bebex may be a little bit of over extension, the fact that he's been ganked up, but loving the trade off coming in from IHC. Even right now, Team FCAP. Is a little bit struggling at the moment right now. They will be going in for a fight. Flappy Z goes for the fight. It's going to be Ethan to help it off. Aizen gets the kill. Shuts down Flap TZ. Another trade for Team IAC. Okay, while I was suggesting a Diggy pick, I didn't know it was going to be this effective. But it looks <laughs> like IAC Esports is making things work with this unorthodox draft here. As you going to have his eyes on the first shuttle of the game. AP Brand, they will be looking to get her here. Two man stun with the ultimate. Aizen Ooh. gets the kill, but who gets the turtle? That's the big one here. Retribution uses as Zu Zuara actually gets it. Aizen follows up with a double kill as Zuara compliments with another one of his own. 5 to 2. I hate she esports. This is the start they've been looking for. No, wow, that, that, that that's amazing coming in from Aizen. I think the fact that he was the one who go in for the initiator, managed to actually connect the dot, complete the kill, and the fact that Team Falcon could not respond and they managed to steal the turtle in that mid process was just support from Team IHC. Yeah, this is not making sense to me, but Phew, <laughs> once again getting caught out, duality prop, he's gonna be down to a third of his health at this point, two on one are going to be used by Aizen as well. And that's all of their efforts wasted. In fact, they're going to try and commit one more here. A few on the top. Now on the bot lane, Bebex seems to be doing well. He has a lead against Super Marco. Okay, looking good. Going in for the over extension, but you got to be careful. Ogwin is already prepared right there as well. So Bebex is just trying to clear things out. I mean, the back and forth still uh, is in the balance right now for the side of Team FCAP as well as Few. Been taken out by 4-bit is in the meat process right there. So I, I feel like Team IXC, the aggression they put out here is very oh well. And coming in for a fight with for Marco! Whoa! That was a huge diversion and Falcons AP Brin fall prey to what a big play coming out from IHC. Wow, that was superb. The gang up coming in from the side of IHC was just amazing to a point that AFCAP could not do anything. Ogren, as well, will not be able to actually defend this turret as they will be going down already. That diggy giving a little bit of pressure. Supermako coming in, but turret has already been destroyed. Yep, it is a good start, but you know, it's all about closing the game. At this point, Super Marco finally gets his hands on the corrosion site, does have some damage on his hands already. But now, Kaltizi can change the fate of the team. They're looking at it. It's down to half health turtle. Oh, the nice pullback onto Flap PZ. Will not be able to make that play just yet. Gonna be with the time bomb onto the side of Falcon's AP brand and they shy away. They give it away. Second turtle of the game. Here we go. Another diversion. Where are they going? 
Where are they going? Somehow they're actually pushing back to Rizla. We've got Aizen been caught off off guard. Unfortunately, he will be shut down instantly on, with the fact that they gang it off. But here, Farbit and Eaton coming along as well. Lab TZ is right in front. Are they going to go in for a push? I think that they will not overextend. They just try to actually reach. Try to actually trade it off uh, for the fact that Aizen was taken out, but not to worry. They're just gonna say like, "No worry, you get the you get the the win, you get the kill." But we'll be pushing off for for now. We're just gonna hold it off, at least not overextending too much to a point that they lost it. Yeah, Falcon AB brand here. They will make some nice plays. They recover a little bit of map control, right? But at this point, Flat TZ at risk. Reality being propped now. Kalfizi on the top as well does have vision onto, I think, two of the members on the side of IHC. Now the question is, what can they do with it? Here we go, Shadow Kill committed onto Super Marco. Can they get more? They will not get the kill, but they get the map advantage. Oh, a little bit too slow. Could have actually finished the fight, but again, a great move coming in from Super Marco. Now, I, I, I love the fact that they're they're actually pushing together. We do see that the movement coming in from IEC is that they're all moving one. They're like moving as one and that's the fact that it's going to be a little bit struggle for AFCAP to actually tag off one after another, you know? And this is what made IEC so much superior and much more hard to actually take down. Yeah, but they are on a timer, right? Late game, the Diggy doesn't offer too much aside mm. from some CC and maybe the time journey with the shields. And late game, Falcon's AP brand have a ton of damage. Okay, let's see. Still gonna clear out the mid though. No one's actually gonna push in so far. Things are slowing down for a while. Turtle has already been spawned. So let's see who's gonna contest. Aizen, try to shoo away Flat TZ as well as Ogwen. Let's see if they actually try to go for the initiator and we do see that Louis will be giving a lot of waiting time right here as Diggy giving all the exposure of each and every location of AFCAP. Yeah, for all of the efforts that IHC have done so far, Falcons AP brand have kept up. They are about 200 gold away in terms of uh, the difference here. They will get the catch onto Kalkizi. Force the use of Spear of Alpha defensively, which means Zuara gonna have a perfect and easy time. Here we go. Diversion. Who are they gonna be looking for? They're looking for Few, but he does not show. Okay, seems that Few knows the information. He's not gonna actually give that opportunity for Team IC to actually break through. We do see that even the mid has been covered up here, Bebex. Gonna clear things off and we do see Aizen is already prepared. If he gets the information, they might actually be able to gank up. But here coming in for a fight with Few as it's going to actually go in for the fight. Few managed to move away from that casualty. Well, he does burn out the flicker. So that's he's gonna be flickerless for the next 110 seconds or so. In the meantime, they're looking to wrap around the map. They have decent control. They need to find a little bit more though on the side of IHC Esports. Here, Super Marco will be able to actually take the first two red for the bot late as well. I, I'm, I'm looking for a fact that Team Falcon do a great job. They, they are trying to actually respond well despite the struggle to fight off with Team IEC. And uh, given that timer to the side of Falcon to actually buff up, farm out, and even uh, try to push even more further along that turret line, this is going to give even more struggle for IEC if they don't do something right here, right now. Right. Flapteezy catches eyes on the four different members. They know that they need to back up, right? So Falcons AP brand, now it's a time to play sneakily and provide enough space for the Moscow to farm, right? Super Marco, 1-1-1. One, one, one. Not the best, but not the worst score as well. So at this point, 7-3, to three, they're keeping up with the pace. Okay, coming in for the mid lane fight right this instant. We do see that TZ. Try to spur away. Oh, few catches out. It's gonna be four members, but he once again makes it out. Doesn't even need to burn the flicker simply because he doesn't have it, right? But now they're out of position for the side of IHC Esports. They're so far away from the Lord. Oh, and it seems that Ogwen will be trying to actually contest it out. I mean, the fact that they try to gang up against a few was a successful. They had to actually take another step further away. And now we're gonna push into the Lord side. We have three of the players, four of the players coming in. Flat TZ, he's away. Aizen, Aizen managed to pull through. It's going to be Zora who managed to actually shut down Kyle TZ as well, making sure that they will be able to take the lot for themselves. 
Yep, time journey is still available if they want to go in for a secondary fight. At this point, the Lord is going to be marching down onto the bot lane. Now, this is the first Lord, so we don't have you know, that huge of expectation to break the base. But IHC Esports, they're so dominant. This first 10 minutes looking all in their favor. Coming in from the mid lane right this instant. We do see Bebex try to push through to the side of Afcap. Afcap couldn't do anything and now waiting for the right time. We've got Super Marco almost close enough to be tagged off. But not to worry, he's going to back off for a while. Great composition coming in from IAC. They have done so much damage to a point that Afcap could not respond and they have to actually blow it down and slow things off for a while. Yeah, but the clock is ticking. They need to end the game in the next five minutes. All the power spikes will come through for the side of Falcon's AP brand. This is going to be achieved with the Lord finally, finally touching that tier 3. And here we go, the lockdown on to 3. What a catch! It's going to be a killing spree for Zuara. A double kill as well. It's going to be two members taken out from the side of Falcon's AP brand. They are strong, but they're not strong enough. Here we go. It's going to be a kill diversion. They want to get out unstoppable for Zuara. They get what they came for. They're gonna make it out. Zuara might have to give his life away. I would give that trade any day. I hate CE Sports. They break into the base of the Falcons in the brain. I mean, it's enough. At least enough to actually go in straight for the break of the two red. I mean, it was too much of the damage to be actually put out. I mean, they did actually trade it off, giving a lot of the win to the side of Avcap. But I think it's already enough to pull through. And Avcap on the other side, I think there's a, a, a game to be put out there. Defense-wise so far has been so good to a point that IC still haven't managed to break through. Yeah, I mean, for all the lead they've taken on the side of IHC Esports, they're just trailing by a mere 2,000 gold. That's not the biggest gold differential, right? Mm -hmm. So Falcon's AP brand, um, there is still a dub to be had, right? Right now, it's really just about making sure they don't lose too many resources with the next Lord. And if they can, taking it for themselves will be pretty dandy as well. Okay, mid lane. We do see that Aizen try to go in for the initiative. Flap TZ right in the open. Somehow, they're just going to wait for the lot to be spawned out. But at the same time, we do see Bebex right at the top. Are they going to actually try to tag off few? First of all, they get the information. They know the location-wise. And here or not, they might actually try to gang up against few. Yep, it's a good position to be taking, right? Here we go, here comes the diversion. Can they get anyone off of this play? Kalteezy gonna be forced to move back with the spell of Alpha defensively. They get the kill on the flap TZ. That's one tank, one damager gone. Now, F FCAP, they will be trying to fight against this objective with four different members. Ooh. This is looking good so far for Team IAC, despite the fact that they have been uh, ha having a great time. But Afcap has doing well to actually defend it wise. But Lord comes into the hands of IAC for the second one, and this is going to be even more tougher. Afcap, they gotta respond wise as the Lord is going to be mowed off right at the bottom, and we do see that the rest of the teams are going to go in for the push right in the mid. Yep, they did what they can. Few kind of trying for the snipe will get caught out instead. He's gonna be the one that pays the price for the aggression. Few down for the next thirty seconds. This is thirty seconds too long for the side of Falcons AP brand. And they're gonna actually make sure to clear out the two reds as well. I mean, like they're quite busy with the lot. They don't need to worry much. Let the Falcon take the lot. Oh, they're gonna God. actually make a fight. No, coming in for a fight. Yep, they're gonna clean up. Crew here as Kaltizi caught in no man's land. Zuara doesn't even want to fight him at this point. It's all five members down the middle. The turret is going to be threatened. And at this point, the final crystal, the final goal. I hit CE Sports return a favor. One to one against Falcon's AB Brand. Wow, what a great comeback coming in from Team IHC. I mean, great drafting wise was peculiar was surprised was very interesting pick coming in from themselves and then pushing